I'm Len Topic, the Chair of Parliament for Ascardia, the world's first space nation. And I'm really happy to answer some questions about why I got involved, how I see the vision of Ascardia developing, and where we are likely to be in a few years' time. I first became an Ascardian formally a couple of years ago, but I've been watching the development of Ascardia for a lot longer than that. To me, it's truly inspirational that Dr. Igor Ashibeli, the founder of Ascardia, recognised we have to have some kind of a society, some kind of a space system, which just doesn't depend on mission control for its instructions. So the concept of building an economy, a democratic system, and a stable society, that's enormously motivating because we have to do it. And Ascardia is the first and best effort I've ever seen in achieving those goals. My vision for Ascardia is the same as Dr. Igor Ashabeli's vision. His idea is to have a nation which looks after itself, which develops its own economy, uh, which is run by the people in Ascardia. To me, it's just obvious we have to do that. Uh, and if we achieve that vision, it means that when we get into space, when we live there, we have a stable community, a stable political system, and a prosperous economy that can make all of that happen. Uh, nothing could be more exciting than being involved in something like that in politics. It's nation building on a literally cosmic scale. I volunteer my time and effort for Ascardia because it has to happen. It has to be created. We've got to make sure that once we inhabit space, we carry a stable political, economic and social system with us. There's no way that any country on Earth can simply tell space residents, space humans, if you like, uh, what to do and how to do it. So let's get that right now and make sure that when we get into space, we've got a society that can operate in space in a peaceful way and actually do good for people back on Earth at the same time. I was born in Northern Ireland in the United Kingdom in 1965. Uh, to Estonian parents. My father was a physicist, Dr. Uno Erpig. My grandfather was an astronomer, Professor Ernst Julius Erpig. So I grew up with physics and astronomy from the first days I could talk and read. Uh, I went to the University of Bristol in England where I studied philosophy. So that taught me how to think. I spent time in industry in a big American multinational company and then I moved on to the Parliament of the United Kingdom as an MP. Uh, I spent 13 years in Parliament uh, and then I moved on to be in broadcasting and now in Ascardia as well. So a lot of different experience there. Uh, I even ran an air taxi company for a while so I've been looking into the skies professionally for a long time. Uh, Ascardia is just a natural progression. It brings together what I believe in, what I'm motivated by and perhaps what I know. Ascardia's single biggest challenge is to get its economy going. The political systems work well now. We're also developing some societal roles. We've got a constitution, but we've got to start generating money and get our currency moving as well. Why? Because it's very expensive to build the hardware we need to inhabit low Earth orbit, the moon perhaps, and other planets. And to be involved in achieving that all-important first birth in space once again means that we've got to have the equipment to do that. Dr. Asher Bailey is very clear this is not a cheap project but if enough of us here on Earth get involved then we can make light work of creating a very very successful economy. I don't just believe that Ascardia will be recognised as a nation, I can see it happening. Over a million people have already put their names to Ascardia. We have individuals signing up as residents and we also have the beginnings of that economy that I was talking about. What we've got to do is have bilateral arrangements with other nations who will prosper and profit by working with Ascardia. 
I've been involved in some pretty high level talks of that nature already. We also want United Nations recognition and that will happen when we fulfil the criteria to be recognised as a nation. We're already bigger than some other nations which are recognised by the UN. So this is happening and it's an ongoing process and I think there will be some very big announcements in the next 12 months on this. Not everyone should join Ascardia. If you don't think that humanity's future is in the stars, then don't join, because Ascardia is a nation for space, not for Earth. Also, if you think this is the wrong time for whatever reason, then understand completely, but leave it to those of us who really see this vision developing now. Dr. Asher Bailey wants fellow travellers, people who really understand what his vision is for this, and who really want to make their own contribution, to give something to the future legacy for all humankind. That's why I'm involved. If that sounds exciting to you, if you feel that you can make a contribution uh, and perhaps just follow what Ascardia is doing, then sign up, join, become a resident. It's not expensive and it's tremendously inspirational. Uh, I would imagine that most of the human race would benefit from being an Ascardia. Uh, you don't lose your existing terrestrial citizenship. You can have dual citizenship. That's not a problem for Ascardia. My advice is, if you feel sometimes when you look up into space at night that we should be there, then you should be in Ascardia.